Strength Performance These are just a few things that Titan Medical Center can help you with. For more information, call or text us at 727-389-3220. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. Here to talk to you today about one of our healing peptides called BPC-157, which stands for Body Protection Compound 157. With this peptide, it works by boosting collagen factors, which can help with repairing fibrous tissues like your tendons, ligaments, and muscle fibers. It also works to downregulate cytokines and actin sequestrants, which are what play a role in that inflammatory process in the body. So it's gonna help with reducing the inflammation. It also works to promote angiogenesis as well, which is the growth of new blood vessels. So that's gonna really help with optimizing the blood and nutrient supply to the tissues to promote healing as well. This therapy can be used just for overall recovery or to also really help after an injury. Whether you're having surgery or you just have some tendonitis or inflammation in the area, this could be a really good option for you. With this therapy in particular, it works best nearest the site of injury. So you would inject it subcutaneous nearest the site. If say it's your elbow area, you would inject it right there to that location. You can do it once or twice a day depending on how aggressive you want to be with the treatment. With this one in particular, we do also have a rapid dissolve tablet under the tongue. This one can be really great for digestive type of issues since it does come from isolated gastric contents. So if you do have ulcerative colitis or acid reflux, this may be a good option for you as well. If you're interested in hearing more, let us know, 727-389-3220. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jessica Azzarello and I am here at Titan Medical Center today and I want to highlight one of the most unbelievable peptides I've ever heard of and used. It's called BPC-157. What does it do? It's a healing peptide. Why would I need a healing peptide? Well, on September 22nd, I was in an unbelievable accident and I had second and third degree burns throughout a lot of my body. My hands completely ripped up, both of them. My arms here, here. So you can see my back all healed. My leg here and here. Once I had my accident and I kind of came through, within 24 hours I was in contact with Tight Medical Center and told them what I was experiencing and they recommended the BPC-157. I had it shipped to my home within 24 hours and I immediately started uh, my injections. Very, very tiny needle. It was basically um, injected. Didn't really feel anything, but it was very, very important for me to heal for many reasons. I felt horrible. I literally could not do anything for myself. I was in an extreme amount of pain. I just wanted my body to heal. So I also own a business. So I had doctors telling me that you will not start seeing any form of regrowth uh, for six to eight weeks. So within, it was like three weeks, I was back to work. So thanks to the BPC-157 and letting my body rest and recover, I also had been already on Titan Complete. I was on glutathione, I was on uh, injectable biotin, which all helps as well with um, cell regrowth and it was just amazing. So the BPC-157 definitely did help advance my healing and I couldn't be more grateful for it. So I highly recommend it if you have any form of injury. So I had, again, burns, um, but there are people that have other types of injuries as well that BPC-157 can definitely help them recover from. Hey guys, John here from Titan, and I want to let you guys know about the Titan Medical Lifestyle Podcast. You can hear us all over the world, anytime you want, right at your fingertips, whether it's on your cell phone, your tablet, or your desktop, okay? You guys can find our podcast wherever podcasts are at, whether it's Google Play, Apple, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, you can tune in and listen to us. And we talk about a number of different topics that you guys are going to love from medical science, to fitness, to lifestyle, fashion, guy stuff, girl stuff, and a lot, lot more. So guys, tune into our podcast every week. We're updating it for you guys. 
Also, make sure you tune into our social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Snapchat. Don't forget YouTube, guys, for all those great videos the Type Medical Center has. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us at 727-389-3220. Make sure you guys also check out www.titanmedicalcenter.com. I'm John from Titan. Thanks a lot. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. Just want to kind of touch base with you today and let you know why female hormones are so important to be evaluated and monitored, especially if you're experiencing symptoms that you may not really understand or um, see how it can be affected by hormones in the body. So hormones do play a very important role in the way that you're feeling and they do all kind of work together um, in conjunction to help regulate and balance each other within the body. So many times patients just feel really tired, weighed down, bloated, fatigued, have low sex drive or libido, and they just kind of think maybe it's stress related or something going on. And oftentimes, sure, it could be, but other times it's not. And you don't always know that unless you get your hormones evaluated to see what's really going on within the body. Certainly other medical conditions, can also play a role in regulation and balance of these hormones, um, which you may not even be aware is taking place in the body. Um, so the best thing that you can do is to check your hormones, let us know how you're feeling, and see how we can help. Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Cody and I'm a sponsored athlete with Titan Medical Center. And I wanna let you guys know about the unbelievable experience I've had. I've been a Titan athlete for over three years. John and Sharice have treated me like family. Every single time I come here, the service is impeccable. And that's something that you don't see, especially in this industry. I feel super comfortable and confident with them doing my blood work and really, really understanding about my wants and needs. You know, a lot of times you go to a doctor or you go to see a specialist and they're more focused on himself. You know, at Titan Medical Center, we really concentrate on what the clients and patients needs are. We have so many amazing therapies. I know a lot of people are looking to lose weight. So we specialize in weight loss, hormone replacement therapy. We have a lot of injectable vitamins. When you call Titan Medical Center, you get greeted, you know, with a smile. And, you know, me and, and uh, you know, sales, I always focus on the little things. And the girls at the front desk, the gentlemen, they're always smiling. You see, they're smiling through the phone. They always know my name. They send me a reminder text. Uh, they're just amazing with what they do. They're very, very detailed. Make 2022 count, because this is your year. Hey guys, it's Cass, nurse practitioner with Titan Medical Center. I want to talk to you guys today about hormones, testosterone in particular. So I have a lot of questions from friends, family, and my patients. Should I test my hormones? Well, that's a great question. I think the answer is yes. So some may ask, what are the symptoms of low testosterone? Well, some of the symptoms may be being tired constantly, being irritable, depressed, not interested in events with friends and family, decreased muscle mass and strength, slower recovery, decreased sexual health, sexual dysfunction, weight gain. Those are all some of the signs of low testosterone. We as human beings, naturally, our testosterone can decrease with age, illnesses, with medication and lifestyle choices, such as you know being overweight, obesity, lack of exercise. So some of the benefits of balancing out your hormones, such as your testosterone, 
can be increasing your quality of life, being able to enjoy friends and family and you know events around you more often, also having better energy levels, being less irritable, increasing your sexual health, increasing overall wellness, decreasing fat, increasing muscle mass, increasing muscle gain, decreasing insulin resistance. So evaluating if you are deficient on your hormones is achieved with a simple blood test. We can know where your levels fall. We'll find out in a few days. We can put together a plan to balance out your hormones and bring back the happiness and you know vitality to your life. Give us a call, 727-389-3220. I'd love to help you out. And once again, guys, stay strong and stay healthy out there. What's up, guys? John here from Titan, and I'm back with another great topic for you guys. How can feeling better boost your confidence daily, right? And let's talk about this. When we're feeling the best we possibly can, right? Then at that point, we're probably looking better too on the outside. Now this can boost confidence for people, but overall mentality too as well. So when we're feeling good, we're up, we have good energy, right? We're thinking positive thoughts, hopefully. And if you aren't, that's one change you gotta make. But when you're starting to feel good, right? You've got this upbeat energy, you're walking down the street with a smile on your face, you know, this energy and aura that you're pushing off at that point goes out to more people that are around you and they can feel it and at that point you feel more confident about yourself and confidence is key because people can really feel if you're not confident about yourself you're coming in you're looking down you're talking with a real little voice because you, you don't know how they're going to react or what they're thinking about you right these are some of the different things that you need to boost your confidence and when you're doing these things, think about it. Feeling good is always associated with that confidence portion. People that are feeling bad or they're feeling sick don't have a lot of confidence with themselves. So it's really key to be healthy because being healthy, right, will make you ultimately feel better. And feeling better is ultimately gonna boost your confidence and it's probably gonna boost your aesthetic appearance on the outside. You know, take some people that you know, we're morbidly obese and they go on a training program or Titan therapy and they lose 60 or 100 pounds of that weight. Even though they might still be a little bit overweight still, their confidence has improved and went through the roof because they've made dramatic lifestyle changes. And this reflects not only on the inside, but it reflects on the outside. And that is a pure confidence booster right there and there. There are people out there that you know, when they feel good, they look good, and they have the best confidence in the world. But some people, like I said, when they don't feel good, they don't look good, and then their mental capacity is in depression mode, possibly. And when you're in depression mode, you're probably not gonna have that much confidence. So the key is, is to really be healthy, right? Make sure everything is good internally, and at that point, do the things that I always tell you to do eat correctly, exercise correctly, get sleep, right? And tight medical center therapies can help along with the confidence booster. And the confidence thing could be in a number of different ways. It could be your daily life, it could be your job, it could be your relationship. All these things come into play with your confidence. So make sure that you guys are setting yourself up for success and that you guys are doing the best you possibly can to be the healthiest you possibly can, to be more confident in life, so that reflects on the outside to everybody that's around you. So confidence is key, guys. Make sure you guys are having that confidence, you guys are feeling good about yourself, and you guys are doing the right things to make yourself feel good inside and out, and that will ultimately boost your confidence. Just another tip and trick from here at Tiger Medical Center. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner awesome good information that you guys can utilize honestly whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger that is the truth every week if you don't know we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships i hope they all see this episode whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better stronger relationship 
We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna come. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Uh, bringing all kinds of good tips, tricks, and things that are going to help your relationship go to the next level. And if you're not in a relationship, you can, you know, take some of these tips and tricks, keep them to the side, so when you do find that right person, then you can utilize these tips and tricks to make your relationship the best possible one you can. Yes. Um, so this week, it's a little personal, but at that point, I want to share these tips with you. So vacations. Right. You know, vacations, everybody should take one once in a while anyway. Right, um, there's never a really right time, but you know, try to plan for a good time to do it. The summer, um, <laughs> yeah. So with Therese and her just turning 35, he's totally lying. I'm really just 25. There you go, 25. Yeah, yeah that's 25. better for me too. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so for her birthday, you know, we usually go out. And we usually do a little vacation, a little trip, anyway, right? Whether it's a couple days or whatever it is, we'll take what we can get, right? Yeah. So <laughs> at that point, you know, we want to go somewhere so we can go relax, revitalize, rejuvenate, you know, kind of recharge the battery so we can come back fresh. And obviously, Sharice wanted a little bit of time alone. She yeah. always likes to do that for her birthday. Uh, well, yeah, I don't, I'm not the one that likes, you know, he likes to have the big shebang with everybody around. Me personally, I like to be alone with maybe like, you know, if I am going to have a couple people around, we're like talking a max of 10. I don't want any more than 10 people and just everyone kind of just leave me alone for my birthday. I've always kind of been that way. But, you know, it's I figured it was a good way to just, you know, we had all of our best friends under one roof, which was very, very, very cool. Most of them. Most of them. Almost, yeah, we're, we're missing almost. a couple. We're couple, missing a couple, couple stragglers. stragglers. Always. Every time. <laughs> And then, um, you know, obviously, you know, me and him have some, you know, a little alone time, which is nice, you know, because we, we're always working, you know, yeah. we're always working and then we're not working. We go home and then Peter's at home and then we're, I mean, obviously have dinner with Peter, you know, do this with that, get up the next day, do it all over again. And just kind of just the cycle of just, bup, 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 you just forget to stop. For a moment and like enjoy each other exactly. and enjoy the moment. Yep. We, we went to Cabo and it was yep. it was so, so nice. I really, really needed it. Yep. I actually was the first time in nine years that I didn't open my laptop for two days. And I know two days seems like that's not really like that much. But in my world, two days is probably about two weeks in your world. Yep. So it was a long time and I, I took everything out of me not to open the laptop. I'm like, ah, I need to do it. But, you know, it, it was nice to just kind of, you know, decompress compress and disconnect for a little bit i think it's important for mental health you know emotional health just it just you need it i really do think you need it and i think the big point to this because obviously we're talking about cubits corner and relationships so i think relationships will really benefit from this because it's time that you guys should be taking away for each other right and you guys spend as much time as possible together and have fun. Mm -hmm. You guys are making good memories. There should be no negative information, influences, nothing around you that's going to disturb your time. Right. You guys are spending time and quality time together, right? So if you guys are on vacation, try to disconnect from the phone. Mm -hmm. Try to disconnect from the computer, right? We all know everybody has to work. We know better than anybody else, okay? <laughs> and, you know, whether it's in the office or social media or whatever we're doing, we have to do it. But, you know, you want to take that time away and really just get away. And that can reignite relationships, too. So mm -hmm. let's say you guys' relationship isn't that good or things just aren't. You know, clicking the way they used to be. Yeah. You guys might need that, you know, alone time to really grow together again, you know. Make sure those roots aren't broken. Put them back together, right? Spend that time in the bedroom. Yep. Nobody's there. It's yeah. just you guys. Yeah. So if you guys have family, you guys know what that's all about. Even if you have yeah. dogs and stuff like I mean, that. The dogs aren't that bad because you can kick them off the bed, right? Because <laughs> I do that often, you know. But, you know, if you have, you know, the kids are outside playing with the dog by the door. And, you know, and, you know, maybe there's like, you know, your family member, John's daddy lives with us. I bless his heart for doing all the laundry for Peter. Thank you. Um, it's one less thing for me to do. But, you know, the laundry thinking he's right outside our door True. so you know it's it's 
you gotta kind of, it just kind of disturbs things a little bit. So to get away and, you know, we had the whole floor to ourselves, yeah. which was super awesome. All I wanted to do, and not for any specific reason, I just wanted to scream just because I felt like I had the whole floor to myself and I could just scream as loud as I want. Nobody would ever tell me, no, it stop or anything because we're, you know, we're on this huge, yeah. you know, we had this huge house that had like six floors and we all of our, you know, we went we went on this house with all our friends so it was a lot of fun you know one tip i can give you guys that on this trip thing right so let's just say you do decide to go with a group of friends right and we're talking about the relationship thing so obviously you have to be able to allocate the different time frames for like you know this is going to be our time you know whether it's in the bedroom or we're going to cuddle and snuggle and watch a movie or whatever it might be and then we'll have this time for our friends or for your friends it's it's not like you know it's he had his best friend out there Mm -hmm. So the last thing I'd want is, you know, okay, him and his best friend are playing pool until four o'clock in the morning because there was a pool table there and they, and he loves playing pool. Yeah. Um, but you know, until four o'clock in the morning and I'm sitting there staring at them. That'd be terrible. Right? So it's, you know, you got to use some of your common sense, you know, when it comes to things like this and kind of have a happy balance or just, just go by yourself. Go by yourself. Go by yourself. That really is that. That really is the key because go you don't have yourself. to worry about entertaining people. Yep. You don't have to worry about a schedule. Uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of where it is. Now, some people are different. They go on vacation. They have a very structured thing. They want to see all these different things, uh, you know, sightsee, this, that, whatever. That's fine if that's what you guys like to do. But listen, if you guys are going on vacation and that's not really a big thing to you guys, don't have a schedule. Yeah. Sleep I in, enjoy, revitalize, yeah. recharge the batteries. Because then you're always like, you know, then you're like, oh, we got to get here. Hurry, yeah, hurry, hurry, yeah. hurry, hurry. I mean, trust me, we have enough that day to day. You know, our, our little inside, you know, joke to me and Sharice every day. <laughs> rush, 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 Because literally, it's rush, 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 Everything we're doing, rush, 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 go, 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 Rush, 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 So this is time for you guys to, you know, take it back a notch and not rush, rush, rush. It was just like, it was like. Rush, yeah. rush. It was still, you know, I still felt it, but it wasn't like rush, 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 rush yeah. all day, like this, like the Tasmanian devil. Yep, <laughs> just spinning, all day. just spinning. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Um, you know, the best thing, is your, your mantra should be enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Yes. Enjoy the place you're at. Enjoy the company you're with, right? Mm-hmm. Enjoy the food or entertainment that's around you. That's another big thing. When you go on vacation, you know, you don't have to eat garbage. You don't have to eat like crap. Now, listen, if you want to splurge a little bit, that's cool. That's mm-hmm. fine. But, you know, don't get off track of what you're doing daily, your routine. I mean, some people, you know, they want to work out on vacation. Some people are like, I want to take a break. That's cool, too. Just, you know, whatever, you know, floats your boat. Exactly. You know, whatever you feel comfortable with and that you want to do, what makes you happy? Right. Right? Because you're breaking away from work or whatever it is. You're with your partner. What's going to make you guys happy? You guys, too. You know, yeah, just not, not just one, one or the other. Or right? the other. You know, like, I'm going to just do this and, you know, you could do this. It's, yeah. The whole point is for you guys to get away together. Right. You know, maybe couples massages. That's right. a good one. Couples maybe a bath together if you got a big enough bathtub. That's, that's, a, that's a good one. Maybe a shower together. Because, right. I mean, who, t- who a takes a shower anymore? Me and John can barely fit in our own shower together. <laughs> if I'm in there, I'm like this for, like, you know, like okay we're done I've had a minute of this I, but I'm, I'm cold I don't have any of the water <laughs> we had this shower there and this shower was so cool I've never like the shower was amazing listen the whole bathroom was awesome and yeah. you know the little things in life that like yeah. makes me be like woohoo you know I'm all excited about these things but it had the the shower heads and there was like six shower heads on each side yep. and I'm like and one big one at the top one rain shower on one side and then another one that was larger so and either way you look shower, at it one. right we were able to take a shower together and no one was cold yeah I still had water on me at some point in time <laughs> and I wasn't freezing to death like yeah. eee. <laughs> you know so yeah exactly we didn't have hot water first night that was fun um, but yeah outside of that you know it was it was nice but that's just you know a couple little things that you can do you know, together that it's, 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 you guys can connect Absolutely. like that, you Go know, enjoy lay by the pool, you know, together to talk about things like, you know, just break things down man. joke around. I mean, smiles and joking around, you know, making new memories. That's another big one. Like, 
Um, bring, you know, you obviously have your phone with you. Most people have phones. Um, and 50% of those people have iPhones. So I know the camera on those things are awesome because I have them, right? So take some pictures, you know. That's another good thing you guys can do. You know, do a time lapse. It's, you know, make memories. John did a good time lapse. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was well, cute. I, I did like, you know, like two of them. Yeah, they're I know, pretty good. You know, another person did another one, so it was really, really cool. Now, you know, with, you know, doing like all that, you know, it t- kind of takes your, your, your focus away from what you really should be doing because I'm worried about getting shots. I'm worried about getting content and stuff like that. But, I remind him. Don't worry. But I remind him. Later on, <laughs> you're going to be able to look back at that. And be like, oh, my God, this was awesome. I'm so glad I got this. Or, you, you know, you have those memories. And those memories take you back, right? And then they make you happy. You think about the good times and what was going on there and, then and you all can, that good stuff. At that point, when you do look at that, right, you, you can – really visualize and plan oh i'm looking forward to the next time we get to do yeah. this you yeah. know yeah. and it gives you something to look forward to yeah. you know yeah. like oh i can't wait to do this again and you know really enjoy my time with yeah. you so it's nice goals okay goals, goals. That's what couple it's all goals about. that's right a couple goals that's us achieving those goals <laughs> And always uh, progressing on those goals, course. right? You always want to make things better. So that's what it's about, you know. And some people out there, they, they take things for granted. We were talking about this the other night. Like, you know, like, you know, people start dating or after they're married and so long. And then, you know, things just, they become routine, right? And you don't ever want that to happen. Don't let that happen. Um, and always be grateful for what you have because it can be gone in a second. Mm-hmm. So at that point... Live your life, have good times, and vacation. Okay, it doesn't need to be some crazy. You guys don't have to go to Cabo. Literally, you can you can literally book a hotel down the street. That's right. At some whatever place. That's right. And you could you know it could be a minimal amount of money. Yep. And you just go by yourselves with just you and your significant other. Day vacation, weekend vacation. You know, it took it's the little things. You know, tonight I'm very excited, and the reason why I'm so excited is because movies are back, right? And me and John do movie night, and we have for years, right? Then COVID hit, movie shut down, and I I lost my night with John. Like my my we didn't get a night anymore. Like sometimes I'd be like, oh, let's go to dinner. I miss my my movie night with you, but still not like movie night, right? Because even at dinner, he might pull out his phone real quick. I'm like, we're at dinner, okay? And he's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, in the movie, he's forced to put the phone away. You have to put it away. Yeah. And just enjoy that, that like, little warm feeling, yeah. you know, in the, in, the, in the seats. And then, you know, I buy an extra seat for my purse because so, I just don't want anybody sitting next to me, to be quite honest with you. But, um, you know, it's worth the six bucks, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> That's my child. Yeah, so, sure. But I'm excited. It's little things like that that you guys can do together that make a big difference in your relationship and that you guys can apply. And it may, trust me, it, it makes a world of a difference. And Absolutely. it could be the small little things. Absolutely. So that wraps it up for another Cupid's Corner Yay. every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC. And if you didn't DVR it or you missed it, Make sure to check out YouTube, Titan Medical Center, type that bad boy in. You'll see all the shows and a lot of other cool content. Plus, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner. See ya.